What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be building an arcade machine. Super excited to show you guys this one. I've been working on this for a few weeks. I think it turned out really, really well and it's a super easy project to do. I think you guys could definitely pull this one off at home. So if you're interested in making an arcade machine, stick around and check it out. We're just starting with uh, an arcade control panel that I had bought off eBay a few years ago. We got it super cheap. Uh, it was not in very good shape when we got it. Uh, all of the bottom pieces had fallen off. The mounting for everything was pretty poor. So we're just uh, we're gluing everything back together, make it real strong to start with. I think if I were to do this over again and I didn't have this sitting around, I'd probably build one from scratch. It would be super easy to do. You can even include plans if you guys are interested on uh, specifically how to make one of those. Uh, here you can see we're using the laser cutter. Uh, we're really just using this to mark the wood on where to cut it. I'm gonna cut it on the bandsaw in a minute. Uh, I have this tool, so I'm using it. You could totally just take measurements and, and draw it right on the board, but it's made it easy for me. What I'm making here is actually the stand that the monitor is going to mount to. This is going to mount directly to that control board. We're doing something a little different. I know you guys have seen the big arcade cabinets before. Uh, I wanted something less bulky and a little more portable. So that's uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, you'll see kind of what the final thing looks like in a few minutes, but stick with it and see how it turns out. This piece had to be a lot stronger than they made it initially because it's going to be supporting part of that monitor. So I wanted it nice and strong. So we're gluing everything together using all the clamps I've got. So this is the uh, sticker that uh, I designed for the front of it. Got to have our Physics Anonymous logo on there. So I think uh, this made it look a lot nicer, a lot more personal too. So we're starting to mount uh, all the hardware. We're using a Raspberry Pi to run the system. Uh, that can handle just about every emulator out there up to maybe PS2. So they, they work really, really well. And they're cheap, this one was 35 bucks. The two controllers you see on the left and right there are the USB controllers for the buttons themselves. They just wire right in, they come with a bunch of wires, it makes it pretty simple. So the wiring might look kind of complicated here, but it's, it's actually really simple. Any of these switches can be plugged into the, the ports on the back of those controllers. And the computer will recognize them once it's booted up and you assign each button as a specific thing. We're booting up for the first time. It works. I'm super excited that it works. So uh, now we can play any game we want. It's awesome. So that's it guys, thanks for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for me. That would be totally awesome. See you guys on the next one. Okay, no more. You're gonna break something. You're gonna break something. Oh, he's pulling that cord with him.